Okay, so continuing from the last video, by the way, Z1 here. <laughs> like I said, I'm recording this right after. So, here we go. Uh, for the rest of the variables. Okay, so, I, I'm going to make a real quick... Uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make ro a rock paper scissors game, okay? So, public static void user choice. So, okay. Public static void PC choice. There. Public static void compare public static void declare winner okay so we're gonna need a whole lot more videos or a whole lot more variables okay so first we need to direct it to user choice here so now it will go to here once it finishes this, then I want it to ask whether you want rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so now static scanner you see yes equals new scanner system dot in Okay, so now we're gonna need another string public static string user choice equals okay gonna make it void right now by the way as an equal you actually make it void which is nothing okay hold on oh okay I may do that but whatever Um, so, when, once you get this, again, direct the scanner equals dot next line. So here is the perfect choice dot, or here is the perfect example for this. So dot two lower case. We hit the user input and put it to lower. Okay. So now for the if statement, if user choice put two equal signs when you're doing this well you for strings you got to do this because it will compare the actual value of the string instead of just whatever okay so we want to make it equal to rock okay no we'll we'll leave this to compare Okay, so now we need to get the uh, computer's choice. So now we go to PC choice. So now once this finishes and this finishes, it'll go to PC choice. Okay, now here is the harder part. Uh, we're going to make a random number from 1 to 3. So the PC choice will always choose a random number choice and then that's where we need the double okay because uh, doubles handle random numbers and math and all that so we want to do math dot seal so that it so that we can handle it better and then math dot random okay then times three and that will basically round 
whatever random number this comes up times 3 it'll round that and then write it to D okay, so if D equals 1 then sorry I'm used to VB.net now okay so we need one more string static string PC choice so PCC equals rock okay else if D equal to PCC equals paper else PCC equals scissors okay so now that that will check to see what D equals if D equals 1 then it'll be rock if D equals 2 then it'll be paper but if D does not equal either 2 or 1 then it'll be scissors okay so now we can safely go to compare So, and we're going to want to bring this back, so I'm going to have to add a little bit to that, but um, now for compare. So if uc dot equals pcc. then we want it to print out tie okay and we don't need to add anything to the integer wins and losses public static Okay, we're going to do that anyway. Okay, so ties equals, no, we want it to be plus equals one. Okay, then we're going to add, we're going to need to add, or we're going to need to make this equal to nothing. before doing that because otherwise it will come up as an error so now that we've got that else if uc dot equals rock and pcc dot equals scissors you want it to print you win okay so basically I'm gonna just skip ahead you know the basics uh, plus equals adds one times equals multiply it basically adds one to that and times equals basically multiplies this and that and writes it to the same variable so I'm, I'm just gonna pause the video here and finish this program show you the end result then uh, we want it to or I want to run it for you okay so be right back okay so Okay, so there's just a warning here, but I think this will work. So, yeah, I, I can just delete this. Usually no would work, but I don't I don't know why it isn't working. 
Okay, so I decided just to make the program end when it finishes. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's a quick program. Anyway, once we run it, so it's gonna ask for our names or our name. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say rock. I won. Yay. So now it's terminated. Mm, that's pretty much it. You can you can adapt this as you need it. But uh, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Don't forget to subscribe.